What's up guys, welcome to another Me Time Gamer video. We're going to keep going with Quantum Rank once again. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. I know it's a lot of videos one behind each other. I'm going to try to record more games, just I want to get through this game. It's very fun. So enjoy I'm enjoying it a lot right now. So we're at Act 4 Part 1, so we're starting at Act 4. Um, and yeah, so if you guys are ready, I'm ready, so let's just fucking jump in, right? You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaro. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. We need a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Come on, just a skid here. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of monarch. I don't know, maybe you could take a cross? Well, maybe. Or I could pick you up. Let me know. It's pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Ammo? Screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Paul. What the actual fuck? Better get inside before the chopper spots me. Tense out there. If I go anywhere near that thing, it's gonna be caught in crossfire. All right. Any bright ideas? You can have a fire. There's no way in hell you're gonna get away with it. Calm down. We need to take a look at this thing. Uh, let me see. There's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. Nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. I'm switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. Right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Alright, Bobby's back, and we're getting reports of more and more of these Monarch roadblocks springing up all over town. HQ, this is Gatekeeper One. Sibies are up in arms over here. Cars. 
Joe's won't let us search his truck. It hurts, Serene. We take the hard line. Easy on the trigger finger, but if it comes to it... Got me.
HQ? The civvies heard gunfire. They're freaking out up here. Okay, change of plans. The pier's too hot. Gotta find another way across. I'm almost there. Just wait two minutes. I'm not putting Dr. Amaral at risk. I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Need to get up to the bridge. Cross it. Civvies, trying to push through the line. You know your orders. Hard line. Any means necessary. Jesus. Check back, son. This part was a, a demo they showed. These guys have suits that can block time. Can they can walk in time? Come on, come on.
It's funny when they die, when they die and the equipment start stops working. They just died <laughs> like in the position. Uh oh. Talk about good luck. Oh no. This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground in the deck of the cargo ship with my best bet. Just had to find a way down. Holy shit. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh no, that fucking stupid car move. What the fuck? Frozen crash was a mess. Somehow I had to find my way across. Hope for the best. Mm hmm.
Holy shit. Holy shit. down wasn't exactly user friendly the fracture was getting much worse timelines getting oh fuck the cargo ship. Oh my god. The route down wasn't exactly user friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what normal time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. Oh, jeez. You need to hand this technology over to Mama. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could we possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. A countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, just take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on it. You got it. Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you. Doc, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something.
this was the guy delivering the speech at the gala. His name's Martin Hash. According to Monarch Radio, he's been deemed a traitor. Sabotage the Monarch bribe. Potential ally? Not even close. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, and save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Dr. Amaral seems convinced that Paul's been to the end of time. Do you think that's true? Can't be. Otherwise, trying to prevent it would be pointless. Why? Because it's already happened. See how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure, like she's seen it before. Like she knows what it does. Not sure. I'll go check. Hey, Jack, come check this out. Don't leave me hanging, Jack. I got the goods. The fuck are you? Hey, shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Yeah, but I figure what I'm doing is more Probably important. Probably see how Dr. Amaral's doing. No use going there before talking to Dr. Amaral. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. Here 
here's got two red lights, one green one. Of the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. <clears throat> okay, the first red light is now green. You've got to be kidding me. Why are you here? This is all my stuff from our family home. I kept everything. Huh. Guess you thought you might come back. Sarah? You okay? Yeah. rebel phase complete with a very rebellious how he died I've always wanted to try this actually never had the time Signatures. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So is he. Jack. There's something you should know. I mean, I... I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. 
Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Okay. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try your way. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. Jesus. The notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. Looks climbable. Why the hell would you rub it such negative energy souls way up there? That's exactly the kind of question that never would have entered. Doing this. I'll set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? This is it. There's no turning back. you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she?